The thing about cybercrime is that it makes folks a little bit squeamish, right? It's weird, it's uncomfortable, it's uncertain, nothing is really known for sure, and I'll be the first to admit, I don't know if anything or everything in this video is legitimate, real, it's all in speculation corner, but I do want to take you on the safari ride, I want to show, not just tell, and actually kind of pull back the curtain to show you some real shady stuff that's weird and wild and insane. Now obviously, obligatory disclaimer, this is all for education sake, it is for security research, there's no ill intent in any part of it, it's just, I don't know, I wanted to offer this to you and please take it with a grain of salt. So I'm going to be using Flare as sort of the springboard to go explore the unknown, take a look at some of the weird shady stuff in illicit cybercrime communities, digging into anything that we might be able to get our hands on, but in this video I want to focus on, uh, Telegram. I want to focus on some of the chats that we might be able to dig into and see some weird and wild stuff. Right now, this is actually set to like my default tenant, which is just kind of tracking my identity. I want to look for my name because that's one of the cool things that Flare can do is just say, hey, what is your open attack surface? What is the external, I don't know, information leakage that might be out there on the internet? If it's a name, if it's a domain name, it's email, company, whatever, looks like, uh, hey, I'm just kind of being referenced on some folks' GitHub. Uh, looks like there's an account on Fiverr. Uh, okay, a leak of someone's not my email and their password alongside another one, so that would be worthwhile to know in case there are any real legitimate leaks for me. Looks like there are a couple of other credential leaks here, but uh, up top this is a good one, hey, maybe just some chatter on John Hammond, the creator of Jurassic Park, which is a person I will never live up to. Big shoes to fill, I will never be able to overtake John Hammond in SEO. Well, that is all fine and dandy, I want to toggle this to the global search so I can look across literally everything that Flair is kind of ingesting and collecting here, and previously we've searched for sort of info stealer malware or trojans and rats. This time around, I just kind of want to look for a keylogger. How about that? Now, when I hit enter, it'll search through all of the different sources that Flare has, whether or not it be, hey, Tor hidden services, dark web onion sites, or clearnet stuff like, hey, leaky S3 buckets, GitHub repositories, social media, etc. You can see this turned back with like over almost 120,000 results, so that's kind of wild. Let me filter this down though. I do want to focus only on some of the chats inside of the illicit networks, right? So Telegram specifically, and we can see what weird and wild stuff folks are talking about in their sort of, uh, hey, private channels of Telegram, right? Now I've narrowed this down to just the past couple of weeks, modifying the date range, and I'm going to change the score and severity to simply high and critical for the moment. Looks like there's nothing there, but we can kind of widen that scope, keep searching, nothing in high. Okay, so let's kind of bring the doors open and move it to medium. Looks like we have about 99 results. Here's one of the Malware Hunters chat on Telegram, uh, looking a little bit shady. It doesn't look like Flare actually has the Telegram link for this one, but it should for plenty of others. You'll note that it has the keylogger reference here as the snake. Looks like we have a couple entries from Malware Hunters chat on Telegram, Malware Hunters. I'm not sure if Malware Hunters is meant to be in like the good interpretation of Hayes uh, defenders trying to stop and fight against malware, or they're just selling it. Looks like they have a couple listings of rats, remote access Trojans, some Cyrillic characters and a keylogger in here. Ooh, and here's a weird one. Okay, good listing of some of the prices where you can buy any of this malware, whether or not it's denial of service, distributed denial of service, stealing telegram accounts, worms malware, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the real fun though is going to actually go dig into the telegram link. So we can copy that and we'll go explore, but take a look. You can see actually how they'll drill down into this and you can see other things present in that telegram chat room. That's kind of wild. Cool to be able to do this sort of from the safe afar from flare, right? A little bit of a distance here. You don't need to drill down into the room unless you want to. There is a lot here, but hey, let me go take a look at that AI assist, and that way this will kind of give a little synopsis. Looks like the threat actor's motives, the chat message is advertising various hacking tools, carding tools, and spamming tools for sale. Doesn't have any specific industry target. It's always just a spray and pray, cast a wide net, looking for the path of least resistance as a cyber criminal here. And uh, that one's crazy. Let's go see if we can go dig into this Telegram channel. <laughs> NBA season, I think. Uh, no F Bibles, escrow with admins, and that's that. Let's go view in Telegram. Okay, so this is July 27th, looking back. Oh, they sent a message like right now. This is active. Okay, yeah, July 27th as I'm scrolling up here. Looks like a couple members muted here, maybe spamming. Fresh sales on T-Mobile, AT&T. Any bank statements, gift cards? I don't know about that. Is this person's username FetusWork1? What? Allegedly some credit cards for sale. 
sale. Amex, MasterCard, Discover, Visa's up here. Bank of America credit logs? Is that just access to their bank? That's kind of wild. That's just a straight up check. <laughs> That's like a handwritten wrote down cash check. A lot of these are just sort of like flat out ads. And I mean, obviously look, it's a business, right? They gotta make some money here, but they like look like weird cringe, like, I don't know, some stupid TikTok emojis everywhere, screaming and shouting about the best product in the world. And some of that, it's, it's gotta be trash. It's gotta be just flat garbage. All right, we had fun with NBA season. Let's get back to see what else we got here. Ooh, the jacuzzi. Take a look. How hard is it to make a key logger in C? This is over in bath chat. Let's copy and go explore that one. Lots of heat, but we chillin'. New forum is breachforums.is. That's not breach. That's not like breach.vc or any of the others. Maybe some like derivative, I don't know. Oh, this is also very active. Hey, checking out of the forum is down. Messages like as of this past 15 minutes. Interesting they have some stuff sort of uh, funneled from VX Underground. Hey, big news, everybody. This looks pretty legitimate with like actual people actually having conversations. So uh, you're in the video. Skid spotted. Oh, that's me. Yeah, they're talking about me. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. They're like straight up having this conversation about where they can sell either accounts, stolen accounts, cracked, cracked accounts, I don't know, whatever. And they like dig into some of the forums that we've seen and showcased before. Only forums in here. Folks are saying like, you know what? Some of those suck. Some of those are just garbage. Some of those are trash, spam, firehose nonsense. Uh, and folks are like, hey, message me, PM me, DM me. <laughs> need to buy good quality malware over here at Bizarre Abuse. You don't need to buy any of those. It's like on the internet. It's free, dude. Nikto is the best scanner. It's the best scanner because it returns absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's fact. Oh, oh, Amori is typing. There is action going on. Amori, hey, you're in the show. Folks are chatting about Breach. Yep, the Breach forums, Pom Pom Porn, and that seizure. Are there any other Onion websites? I'm curious what onionbusiness.com is. Let's go look. Onionbusiness.com. What? What? What is this? This is just talking. This is just literally talking about onions. That is not Tor. <laughs> I love tax evasion. All right, earlier we saw Shave and Amori typing and they say, hey, you know what? Does anyone know any place where I can get fulls, like full information on a person, all the intel that they could get with a high credit score? Hit me up if you're selling backend access to software as a service businesses. I feel like I know a few software as a business services. Actually, can I chat about that real quick? I do want to give a little bit of love to Flair because, hey, you know, they're a great sponsor that is helping support this video and the channel. And they recently had some really cool research where they were showcasing a whole lot of logs from a lot of info stealer malware, like Redline, Raccoon, Radar, Titan, etc. And obviously, just as we've seen, a whole lot of the samples will just go ahead and, like, steal the data, swipe up what they can, and then either send it to, like, as an update within a Telegram command and control, or go ahead and sell it on Telegram channels, just like this. But they had, like, crazy findings. I think they had some super cool details on, like, the actual numbers of impact here. Of course, initial access brokers, exedic. Maybe it's not in the bleeping computer article, but I did see a copy of their report here. Yeah, this is the stuff they'll end up seeing stolen with the info sealer malware and then usually posted to a Telegram channel as their, like, exfiltration location, whether or not it's their internet service provider, or crypto wallet info, or any PII that they could grab. And this is freaking cool. Based on our analysis of over almost 20 million Steeler logs, at least maybe 2% of Steeler logs contain access to credentials for legitimate business applications commonly used by organizations like Salesforce, HubSpot, QuickBooks, AWS, GCP, Okta, and DocuSign representing almost 400,000 logs. <laughs> what? Hey, super quick, John from the future here. I just wanted to be extremely clear. This reporter is covering users of said application that downloaded malware. It is not to mean that the organization or that business is compromised or breached themselves. It is strictly covering the users. I didn't know if that was just a miscommunication. It is only the users of said application. Almost 50,000 logs contain access to a resource that includes Okta.com and the reference. Steeler logs containing access to financial services such as banking and retirement portals are a significantly higher price on Genesis Market. Isn't Genesis Market still dead though? Genesis.market. Yeah, see, okay, Genesis Market's borked. Way down, way seized. More than 200,000 Steeler Logs contain access to open API credentials, representing 1% of all the Steeler Logs that are analyzed. Well, you just got a giant, like, sample size, right? You're working with 20 million. Still, 200,000 is nothing to scoff at. Almost 50% had access to Gmail. That's absolutely insane.
Here they break this down. They have a couple different tiers that they showcase. I don't want to drag you through it, but if you do want to take a look, I think it's a really cool report. Let's see if we can find any of these public Telegram log channels or any things that kind of showcase that. Russian market, though, we've seen before. Corporate IT infrastructure. Almost 200,000 AWS credentials. A little bit of Google Cloud. Show me the creds. Show me the username and password pairing. I want to know. I want to see. I want to have all the data. That's so crazy. Average infected device for sale on Genesis Market included financial services logins about 100 USD. 213 financial institutions. Maybe around a fourth of that had either employee or customer credentials for sale in the past two years. And... Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, Roblox. Roblox is never going to die. All right. Well, hey, that's insane. Oh, and there's been chatter in the jacuzzi. What's a hacker's term for a high credit score? <laughs> Can anyone make FUD? If you're uncertainty in doubt or fully undetectable. Oh, stars digging in, little private chat. Hey, PM me, DM me, Venmo me. Is this FUD enough? Oh, they uploaded something. Yo, I'm going to it. We're going to check it out. Ah, this is not a language that I speak. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? I've never seen Checkzilla before. Is this another like, hey, dynamic sandbox that'll see how a sample works and whether or not it's detected or not? Let me translate this to English, please. Interesting. Yeah, whether or not it gets detected or not. Checkzilla. Dynamic analysis and static analysis. I have not seen this one before. They got Windows Defender. They got Sophos, Nano, Kaspersky, Bitdefender. Okay, not awful. What's that uh, frequently asked questions here for me? Yep, make that English, please. Wow, super cool. Now we uh, know another little uh, AV scanner. Does it say whether or not it actually uh, shares the samples with vendors though? I'm assuming it doesn't. At least we don't know for sure, right? You'll never know. All right, let's get back to business. The jacuzzi's kind of neat. Might hang out there sometime. We have already went down quite a rabbit hole. However, Kelvin security community is normally one that's kind of crazy. Uh, We've also at least kind of noticed the Malware Hunters one. We didn't dig into it, though. We have Legion of Doom. We have Community Big Chop Hub. We've got Russian Roulette. Russian Roulette, I think, has got some craziness to it. Let's go see what that one's up to. Malware Developers Community. Malware Cloud. All right, I'm getting distracted. We got to uh, we gotta keep cruising. But look at this. Leaks. But look at this. They got Money Mart in here. Keylogger much more. Also comes with a Windows Defender Bypass Keylogger. UAC? Ooh, 75 bucks, not bad. All right, all right, all right. I'm going fraud cartel. Stop, pull me out, I'm done. Stop, pull me out, I don't wanna do any more. We're gonna keep cruising into Russian roulette. You got a little bit of stuff here. They think they're working with Pegasus? Here's Pegasus directory from 9cat that worked for NSO groups with Spank Manifesto like a bit. What the, what? Again, take it with a grain of salt. I don't know, we'll never know. Let's download it though. Here I got my little uh, Telegram desktop right here. Let me move this into a place that isn't going to get scammed by antivirus. Unzip that one. Oh, okay. But what is all this? I'm assuming these are gonna be binary files, right? You probably need to work with these. They said in Android Studio, yeah, with Android Manifest. Take that with a grain of salt. Can we use Jadex to dig into the Java archives though? I don't know if I wanna drive down that rabbit hole, but folks are always screaming and shouting like, oh my God, Pegasus, wow. Too bad I made these tools for private release. What the heck is this? The Manifesto Black Hat Hacking Team. You people are too cool. You are so cool. Uh, how could I ever possibly achieve in my humble human existence this level of cool? Hello everyone, Dirty Theft version 3. You will be able to learn money in this training without having enough knowledge. The wallets you receive include digital cryptocurrency wallets, PayPal, American Express, and other financial banks. You'll be able to hack WordPress sites. You'll have access to proxy accounts, VPN accounts, Facebook, and Twitter. This is the cybercrime startup. I'm going to make people mad at me. They're, I'm, I'm going to have someone coming after me. I'm putting a target on my back like this, aren't I? What is this video? Is he just logging in with... Oh, he is. Oh, okay. All right. Sweet, man. This is too weird. I'm sorry. Weird videos when we do this. <laughs> Got a USA credit cards database that includes credit card numbers, expiration dates, holder name, etc., etc., etc. Mail.com.txt, Pilot Flying, Office 365, Hulu, Disney Plus, Office 365, Spotify. Uh... Office 365? Office 365. Is that- Oh, yep, that's just- That's that. This is an EDU domain. This is a gov domain. It looks like the company name and is admin, is SMB. These are like legitimate fields for 0365. And username and credentials. Okay, uh, delete that, please. God, it's like scrub that. Burn my computer. All right, this one's getting too real. I'm out. Well, we have gone far down the rabbit hole only looking for some cybercrime with a key logger. And uh, it looks like, man, there's still more to do. Like if I wanted to dig into the fraud cartel, I could. Escrow sellers, BTC deal. 
The thing is, like, they're not really discreet about it. <laughs> There's so many of these though, it's insane. It's crazy to me that we were able to kind of fall off this cliff with just searching for like keylogger. Like I did not search for, oh, info stealer or malware, not that they would just specifically use that, but obviously when they're talking about some of the functionality and features, you might get a little bit more hits and that'll help you kind of find and dig into more. Now, if I expand the scope here, if I bring this to low, okay, no, there's nothing new. Probably just about everything is medium for what we're digging through. And I just honestly thought keylogger might be a cool way to find all of the article, all the references to this within chats and I'm glad that it worked in like a reasonable degree. But if we wanted to straight up search for ransomware or if we wanted to straight up search for fulls, Fulls might get be, Fulls might be massive. Yeah, that's like 125,000 results. And this is all the ones on Telegram that they're just dumping these. Fulls and Pro included, refunds. This is Guap, this is Fraud Cartel again. Fraud Cartel might have been a crazy one. Canadian Fraud Cartel, okay. The Laboratory, get me bread. <laughs> <laughs> now, hear me out. I have never bought any of these things that are sold in a Telegram channel or chat or dark web, and I have no intention to, and I don't think you should, or you should ever at all. It's crazy to me that these things exist, and even if, like, I don't know, they were to be pulled down, I don't know if it's a scam, I don't know if it's legitimate, when I just fire up something, it looks legitimate, and that's enough to still be spooky wooky. My goodness, though, I have fallen down a rabbit hole, and it's always a whole lot of fun just kind of going through the safari ride and seeing what weird, crazy stuff is out there, uh, and, you know, taking it apart and seeing it within the lens of Telegram is like, there's so much stuff. Uh, there are tons and tons of crazy, insane in Telegram group chats where there's malware just being shared left and right or data or leaks or info. Hey, I hope you had fun with this one. I know the jump cuts make it a little bit crazy, but again, kudos, credit, thank you, and all the supported love for Flare for Help and support and sponsor this video and keep up with the channel. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video and we'll do some more dark web dumpster diving, jolly jaunt in our cybercrime shenanigans, right? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.